Hello and welcome to the third Build with Care update film on the progress of the renovation of Prettlewell Chapel in Southend-on-Sea. We are about halfway through the project now and the chapel is beginning to look more like the energy efficient building it is going to be when the dust settles. So what's been going on this month? The man in the know is site manager Phil Gerling. After the completion of the structural works to the spire, we moved forward and completed the lead and the slates into the spire. We then removed the scaffold to the spire which enabled us to do the roof works at lower level. As we were doing that, we also fitted the refurbished bell and completed the painting works around the bell tower. The stonemasons are on site, carrying on with the repair of uh, stonework where necessary and the replacement of the stones where necessary to the rear of the building. We have brick layers on site, repointed all the mortar joints around the building. The photovoltaic solar panels have been fitted to the south roof and the roof has been made weather tight around the panels. The ground workers are back on site, they're excavating for the new floor builder. That includes damp proof membrane, insulation and the underfloor heating. Also internally we've started to install the insulation at high level to the ceilings. This project is being managed by South End Borough Council and one of their main aims as a member of the Build with Care partnership is to make this project a beacon for the use of carbon reduction measures and the importance of insulation. We asked project engineer Neil Pointer to tell us how these aims will be achieved. It's going to be uh, an A rated with a number 12 which is way in advance of what most normal new buildings would be. They typically would be about C rating. So we're about a third of what a new build would typically be. Footprint wise, we're a bit bigger than a domestic house. Energy wise, we're probably a minimum of a third if it was a new building, or maybe even as much as a fifth, or even more than that, um, of what a typical house would use. Um, so very energy efficient in that respect. If a typical house was using, say, around £2,000 a year for their heating and their electric, we're probably going to have bills of about £200 and on milder winters we'll be even better off. We wanted to deliver a building that was energy efficient and green and looked after itself. Our original target was to become absolutely self-sufficient um, but the practicalities of achieving that um, we just couldn't quite get there. Um, so yeah it was a two-pronged attack um, by joining up the two together we then ended up with a situation where we've got a very good solution for the end user to have. What is also important about this project is the fact that an old, once derelict building is being reused. We asked Build with Care's ambassador, MEP for London, Jean Lambert, how we can all take the lessons from this project and put them to work in our own homes. Everyday people can get involved in it really by making the demand for this is the sort of building that, that we want. You know, why is it that I have to spend a fortune heating my home? Why do I need a winter fuel allowance? Why is it that my home is so cold that I need that additional money? So, you know, what are you as my local council, as my government, even people like me at the European Union, what are we going to do to make this the norm so that everybody can, can have a decent home? I think the more beacon projects you have, the more people come to understand that this is, this is not something weird, only done by very rich people, very strange people. This is something that works for everybody. So the more Beacon projects, the better, because then the more normal that becomes, the more everyday that becomes, and that then becomes the standard for all our buildings, not just for the, the one or two in the vanguard. All of those involved in this renovation project are committed to making this building truly sustainable. This isn't something unique to Prittlewell Chapel. We can all make our buildings more energy efficient. The starting point of this process is simple. Insulation. Neil Pointer explains. You can take an old house that's inefficient, needs a lot of heat to heat it and keep it warm. If you insulate it thoroughly, you retain all of that heat within the building and you don't need as much heat to heat it comfortably. If you took a square box, doesn't matter what size it is, it costs £200 to heat. No insulation, no anything, just costs you £200 to heat that box. You can go and buy some photovoltaics uh, to produce electricity, and put, buy some air source heat pumps and then bolt on 
your green energy effectively, your running costs for that building might drop to £100. You might be able to salvage that using green energy. If you insulate that box first and then add on the PV and the air source heat pump, your running cost may drop down to £20. The insulation is the cheapest component to buy it, but probably has the greatest effect on the energy efficiency. So if you want to start saving money on your energy bills and reducing your carbon emissions, start thinking about how well insulated your home is. If you would like to find out more about sustainable building, please go to the Build With Care website, www.buildwithcare.eu or follow them on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash buildwithcare.